Local 24 News, meteorologist Chelsea Chandler with a Mid-South certified most accurate forecast. I don't know if it's a good thing that I'm a sweets person, but I'm not a, I'm not a super salty person. All right, as far as what's going on with uh, our heat advisory, it's been scaled back only for our southern counties in Arkansas. We've got Phillips County, Arkansas, and Lee County in Mississippi, Tunica, Tate, Panola, Coahoma, and Quitman County. So that goes until sunset. Expect that to feel today between 105 and 109. The rest of us, we're still going to feel like close to, if not right into triple digits. 80 degrees in Memphis, cooler to the east where we're not seeing that advisory in the low 70s to the west in the mid to upper 70s. So a normal morning, it's muggy, it's gross, it's the end of August. What do we expect? We got a little fog out there, uh, nothing too terrible, but you want to put your low beams on if you come across it. Otherwise, sunshine across the board. When we get the heating of the day, sunshine and the humidity, we could start to see some pop-up showers. So we should see those possibly between about uh, noon to about 3, uh, or excuse me, about uh, 6 o'clock. Let's double that. Uh, 95 again for our high, but you can see we're going to start off warm already. 85 at 9 o'clock, but here is what we can expect to feel like. 96 for the high feels like 104. Tomorrow we drop down to 100, so at least we're getting there. And as we head into the weekend, still a little bit further down into the 80s by next week. And that is all thanks to some rain that's going to be headed our way. So today, tomorrow, Saturday, now's the time to get your car washed. Finally get my dog washed, y'all. I can't tell you. I, I feel like a terrible dog mom. My dog smells so bad. Anyway, as we get through the rest of the weekend, rain chances will increase. As we head towards the middle of next week, this is when we could start being impacted by what will likely soon be named Tropical Storm Ida. There's so much that has to take place, uh, but if it does make its way into the Mid-South, it would bring a very heavy rainfall, very strong winds, which could be problematic for um, a lot of our farmers. So that's something we have to keep an eye on right now. But for now, it is going to be uh, time to get all that done. Get your grass cut Saturday. You're pushing it on Sunday. The rest of the week expect it to be soggy. So uh, as we look at the hour by hour, it's not going to be all that uh, exciting afternoon showers. Not surprising at all. We're going to see those pop-up showers again on Friday. Here they come as we head into the afternoon. Boom, there you go. So it's that time of year where you can just see them pop up. We're not expecting any severe weather that's organized, at least at that point, but they can become thunder showers and they can become a little bit strong. So that's something that we always have to keep an eye on. And of course we will be, otherwise again, temperatures will begin to drop, which will be nice for a change to be in the 80s, lows in the 60s as we head into next week, which I am looking forward to, minus the rain and slash possible tropical potential, but we'll keep an eye on it for you.